Welcome back, listeners, and get ready for another exciting episode as we go into legal and ethical considerations. In the first episode, we talked about understanding paternity fraud. In the second episode, we talked about the science behind DNA testing. I remain your host, Uche Namadi, and I'm still with the incredible legal and health professionals, Dr. Weye, consultant hematologist of SINLAB Nigeria, Ms. Patsy Mokunga, legal and compliance manager of SINLAB Nigeria, and Mrs. Olaogun, key account manager of SINLAB Nigeria. Thank you. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, share, and follow SINLAB Nigeria on YouTube and on Spotify. In this episode, we'll be talking about legal and ethical considerations. So I'm coming to the legal person amongst us, the elites. How do they call them? The learned, Abby? The learned 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 learned. All of us, the non-learned anything. Learned. No, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Patsy, I am curious to know, what are the legal requirements for obtaining a paternity test? A court order. Court Honestly, order? Honestly, yes. Okay. Because there are three... Popular ways in Nigeria to determine paternity. The first would be by, um, you know, like, should I say presumption? Presumption that it would occur within the mm -hmm. confines of marriage. Okay. Whereby it presumes that if Mr. A is married to Mrs. B, mm -hmm. Mrs. B's children are for Mr. A. You sure. understand? So we presume um, that all children in a marriage are for both. For both. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the second one would be, you know, by claim, laying claim. Um, so a man can declare that this is his child. Wow. You know, if a person has said this is his child, we'll agree with him. Another, that also um, comes to play in where there is a, should I say, a trail, a history. For instance, if he has been footing the child's school fees, oh. if he, you Training can show the that child. he has, yes, he has probably, if he has been going to the visits, you know, you, you can prove that he has been visiting the child or he has been visiting the child's mother over a period of time. Okay. He's the one responsible for the child's um, health bill. Sure. He has been visiting the child's school. If you are, if you are going for PTA meeting back to back, why? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can use that, you know they, they, and they ask you like that's my child that's one other way the last mm -hmm. is by proof and oh. that's where the court orders for there to be a paternity test and so the court can order the, um, a paternity test they can um, nominate a facility you know the way we get court yeah, orders yeah. and the court yeah. has requested that it be done at, at sin lab you know that kind oh. of thing so yes um for ethical implications we've already um, touched a bit on that uh, informally but ethical implications just have to do with how that paternity testing is going to affect the parties involved most okay. especially the child involved um you know we i think dr way talked about, um, you know, an instance where maybe imagine a little child in school and, you know, bullying mm. is very, yes. very... Yes, yes. In those environments, it tends to happen. And then a child, it, it spreads that, ah, this child is not the father, is not the child, child of, of their father, father. You know, mm. that kind of thing. It just, you know, you can go wild in your imagination with scenarios imagine maybe your father is a big man or something i've been using you've been using it to brag in school, brag in school. <laughs> nobody can touch you you know and then they hear that your parents are in court wow and they are saying that you're not your father's child yes, ah, that finish terrible. you know or the humiliation they, yes or the the, the, the moral shame. impact wow. it could yeah. have on a woman's in 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 nigeria was still a very very conservative culture yeah so we expect that women are virtuous yes and you know a part of that virtuous that your children are for the father that mm -hmm. they are supposed to be for. Mm -hmm. And it, it will besmatch your reputation if it comes out that it's being that suspected not, yes. that your children yes. are not for their father. It's something that they actually use to, you know, attack women a lot. Yeah, and you are sleeping with your boss. Your child is your boss's child or hmm. your child is your this, this person's child. It's not even for your husband. You get... So those are the where ethics come into it because it's... When you talk about DNA, you are going to, you are going to knock on the door of trouble. Hmm. The fact that you even brought up DNA, mm. you raised issue, up, really. um, you you are you are question you are you raised suspicious. up questions. Yes, yes. you already suspicious. raised up suspicious. trust is so out of it. Trust is so out it of has it. yes. So it has to be handled very delicately because mm -hmm. it, um rumors can spread very fast. So somebody might hear that their 
questioning whether this person is this person's child. They will not hear that it was confirmed that yes. it was that child. They Nobody just hears the conclusion out. at the end of the that day. Virus. It's that first part. So basically, confidentially. Yes. Yes. So the confidentiality yes. has to be very, yes. very heavy with paternity yes. issues yeah. because so, it can ruin a lot. Yeah, I agree with you. I couldn't agree more. So, Okay, so I know you've mentioned something about the legal system in Nigeria, you know, that it's not, doesn't hold water for paternity, but normally, how should the legal system handle Mm -hmm. cases of paternity fraud? Well, the thing is, I believe that um, in the future, I will not be surprised. I expect that our judiciary is going to come up with um, you know, paternity laws. Why yeah, I say this is because people are getting Yes, aware. laws come up They're when problems woke. come up. Sure. Do you understand? You don't need a law where a society is not having that problem. Mm. And right now, n- paternity is becoming a problematic problematic issue. Yes, it's, mm-hmm. become, it's mm-hmm. becoming mm-hmm. talked yeah. about. Yeah. Now becoming. They, they, yes, <laughs> they are when, with that whole, um, I think it was around 2015 where the studies came out to show yeah, and we were like 30% of Nigerians are hmm. not have uh, are into paternity fraud that kind of thing wow. that already sparked yeah, uh, yes. Yes. people's antennas yes. and now with the advent of what we call the Japa syndrome everybody is Japan and if you're traveling if you're um, thinking of migrating mm-hmm. with your family, one mm-hmm. of the requirements yes. is paternity, paternity testing. Yeah, exactly. You know, and wow. with that, we are finding a lot Proof of, of people who are waking up to the fact that their children are not their children, children. because they were trying to carry them out of the country, and it turns out they are not Strong their children. Awareness. So, and like I already said, there's a principle in law that says that where there is injustice, there must be, you know, a remedy for mm-hmm. it, you know, where there's a problem. So now, if people are waking up with this problem and knocking on the door of justice and saying that I have been wronged, I want something to be done, then that's a call for our judiciary to, yeah. you know, come up with something. So, so I, I agree. It's now, it opens the floor of will we consider it a crime? It, I think it is, you know, <laughs> because it's fraud. <laughs> <laughs> it's fraud. It, it's, it's, it's doing something really terrible yes. to somebody when you do that. Yes. You get. So I am looking forward to seeing more in this area. And if it's hitting the court as much, imagine how many paternity issues um, yeah, tests come to our table, to our table mm. yes. from the courts. Mm-hmm. So you know that the courts are hearing the cries of the people. Yeah. And Speaking of courts, so this brings me to my next question. What are the rights of the alleged father, mother, and child in paternity fraud cases? What are their rights? Well, like I said, um, the alleged father can claim a civil going to court and you know go going with a civil suit okay. whereby he can um ask for damages for wrongs that have been done to him you know in a civil suit if it is actually found if he is found that he has been wronged the principle is that he's supposed to be put back at the position he was at before the wrong was done to him so that position you mean what i mean um, think about it this way before a man was um defrauded the day he started being defrauded, the day they told him a child that wasn't his was his child. Mm, okay. So the day that woman told him I'm pregnant for you was the day the fraud started. Wow. Mm. So where was he before that fraud? He had not spent money on that child. Oh. He had not emotionally invested in that child. Wow. He had not mentally invested in that child, in that woman, in that marriage, in the possibility of the existence of this person that's supposed to belong to him. Mm. So how do you put him back in that position. That you know, would be tough. Because how do you pay for emotional damage? Exactly. How do you pay um, for emotional damage? This is, in fact, that is a question that goes across so many different kinds of legal wow. cases. But what we see a lot is just financial compensation. You know, you're oh. going to ask for financial compensation for it, depending on the situation, depending on the persons involved. You can ask for any amount you want to ask for. But that's what we are seeing right now. Um, we, the dynamics could change in the yeah. future. But yeah. So I'm, I'm even coming to you, Dr. Where? <laughs> how can paternity test results affect child support, custody, and inheritance? Oh, me? Yes. Uh, okay. Um, for me, um, I, I think um, um, what I can say about that basically is because I'm, I'm trying to actually, you know, marshal my thoughts together on that. Um, I said, I made a statement earlier on. I said, um, for me, for the child who is a minor, um, the child is innocent. I mean, it's not the child that sinned 
far as I'm concerned. Sure. And but then for me, I don't know, I'm not a legal person, but I think the man has a lot to say on that. Okay. Because you I, I don't really think you can actually force a man, you know, who just discovered that the child he had been nurturing all this while, you know, he's not, he's, 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 you, mm. you really cannot force him to do anything. That's my opinion though. Okay. However, I feel that the rights of a child mm -hmm. should actually be protected. Sure. I'm not a legal person, but I actually feel of the right of a, I'm child, coming, of a child I'm coming you know, to to, should, should be protected. So mm. um, I really do not know what the legal, you know, has to say, you know, about it, how to marry that. Because mm. one, a man has been emotionally defrauded, he's down, he's everything. And then I don't feel it is just for you to just force him to maybe continue to do, you know, social support and mm -hmm. all that. And in, on the other hand, this child is innocent. I mean, mm. child has not committed any crime. Yeah. Even the mother that has committed a crime is not said to be a crime. So... <laughs> <laughs> You're coming with violence now. So, really, how do you get to actually manage these things yeah. you know, and, and put it together? And in that same vein, I was going to say something. I don't mm. know. I've, I've pushed the ball to her. But yeah, was, she's going to pitch I was, I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to say something about this. Now, mm -hmm. paternity fraud is not a crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've said all that. But then the issue is the story I painted a while back, mm -hmm. 25 years of marriage, mm -hmm. all five children, perhaps the man is probably in his mid-50s. Mm. Where is he going to start from? Wow. And then he just gets to know that, oh, I've been nurturing mm -hmm. children that were not mine. And then he just wakes up one morning. And he kills the woman. Man. I mean, these are things you probably would watch on Discovery, Discovery, crime, Discovery yeah. stuff. And then well, he kills the woman. Happen. So how do you not argue that? Because for me, I actually think these are things, these are lapses. That, well, yeah, these are definitely yeah. lapses. But if he kills the woman, he's going to go to court for a mother or manslaughter. Depending that will on what not be is. another case. That would be a different, yeah. different You're not case talking about result. paternity. You're not yeah. talking about what the aftermath Because they would have the paternity, paternity in the case. case you know, no, what I'm saying is that the emotional, whatever. The because can drive him to do said, that. Yes, we so that could be something that he could probably use as defense when he's defending himself for killing. And you know, but he... He has still he has no right you to that, kill. That's why right I actually feel kill. that paternity fraud should be punished. Okay. That's our opinion. <laughs> okay. We'll come to that. <laughs> we'll take a look at Yes, we'll come to that. But like, like, yes. legally, same question I asked him. So legally, I'm coming to you. How can paternity test results affect child support, custody, and inheritance? Well, you it, it will legally affect because you have to have a legal claim to a child that you have to support you know, child support or somebody, if the basis of their inheritance is on, you know, the biological relation uh -huh. um, to a parent, then that affects, you understand? Or what's the third thing you mentioned? The inheritance, custody. Yeah, yes. custody. custody. You know, custody, because um, the law provides in the Child Rights Act, you know, it provides for the um, the parents, it provides for a mother, father, it now sure. provides for legal guardianship mm. Mm. of a child. You understand? So if you do not have these three ways to be legally connected to the child, you're not legally the child's parent, you're not legally the child's guardian, hmm. um, you know, uh, um, you can't now have basis to, you know, have custody of that child. Or a person who is not a legal parent of a child you know, by even by adoption, you are you've not you are not a parent of that child legally. Yes. You have no reason to pay child support. What what how can they loop you into paying child support for so that? I, child? I think yeah. a government and a court can yeah, so at, that, at the end of the day agree that okay, social welfare. Yes, yeah, so that's where the government now comes in. Comes this on. is where social welfare, welfare has help. been created yeah. to fill in that gap. gap where we now don't, children. if you yeah. don't have, the parents are not there, you know, there's now a gap. Who is supposed to take care of that child? Social yeah. welfare. The government hmm. is now, um, the child is now the child a, a the government, government child. Wow, child. so this has mm. been very eye-opening. Guys, remember to legally obtain a paternity test. All members have to consent or a court order may be required in disputed, in disputed cases. So the test should be conducted by an accredited lab. It is safer. Yes. So please do not forget to like, subscribe, share, and follow Sin Lab Nigeria on YouTube and on Spotify. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back.